crowd uh, here this morning. And of course, a special welcome uh, to the Honourable Member Joe. Come and welcome to uh, Federation College. It's good to see uh, such a uh, good crowd uh, here this morning. And of course, a special welcome uh, to the Honourable Member Joe Camusi. Uh, for uh, making this announcement uh, today with us, and we thank you. I'd also mention a couple of other uh, politicians who are here. Richard Harvey will be speaking on behalf of the smaller communities here, and I did see Joe Verdramo, and I think we saw Aldo here as well, well representing the city. So thank you for coming, and thank you to all of all of the leaders uh, of Thunder Bay who have come to this announcement again uh, today. You know, it's really uh, it was we were honored when Joe called uh, last week and suggested that he'd like to host this event here at uh, Confederation College because we really recognize the hard work that he's put in over the last couple of months in contributing significantly, I believe, to the announcement that uh, the Prime Minister made last week. And so we're, we're happy to, to, to be here. We were happy to be part of the advice. I know he asked a lot of us around the table here in this room for advice around uh, what the federal government should do, and we certainly had a hand uh, uh, in that. And we believe that this offers some hope for Northwestern Ontario for laid-off workers and for industry that's in transition and for the whole socioeconomic development of, of North of Western Ontario. And we're hoping that out of this announcement will come some support, not only for the workers themselves in transitioning to other jobs, but also for the forestry industry and other industries uh, in Northwestern Ontario. To do, I want to introduce the honourable member for uh, Thunder Bay Superior North, Joe Camusi. Thank you so much, and uh, thank you to the college for hosting this event for us this morning. And good morning, everybody. Let me just mention a few folks that uh, that uh, mm -hmm. I got my glasses on. Probably. That uh, Pat Lang, uh, <coughs> president of the college, and is Michael Power here from the hospital? He's Health on his way. He's, He's on his way, and, and, and uh, uh, Mike from the university, Michael Pulaski from the university, and uh, Dr. Wang from the research and development. Uh, welcome, doctor and Ian McCormick from Wardrobe Engineering. So we're, we're sitting over here going to uh, Very important, because I'm going to talk about that in a couple of minutes. And, uh, and uh, Brian Campbell from the college. Where's Brian? Brian's over in the corner. Sue Pradanyuk is uh, here from Abitibi Bowwater. So there we are. I'm sorry, I can't see. These glasses are for short term, not long term. And uh, Rob Bell from Dingwalls. And John Aiken from the Ambassadors. Thank you for coming, the Ambassadors of the uh, an organization in Thunder Bay that uh, I found uh, in the last four or five or six months that have been extremely helpful in helping us formulate uh, the plans that we have for uh, Northwestern Ontario. Uh, David Fruits from Fednor, and Fednor, as you well know, was David around? But yeah, he's got, I mean, know he's up. David, I can't hardly see you. <laughs> well, I'm glad you're here because uh, uh, it's important that we get it done what we're going to talk about today as a, as a unit for all north and northwestern Ontario. Let me, uh, let me tell you how this all began. Uh, we're in a caucus meeting, as you know, uh, uh, because of the molecular medicine research project that uh, was so important to changing the knowledge-based economy and in northern Ontario, northwestern Ontario, and that uh, Mr. Dion and I had a little problem on whether I should support that venture or not. And I decided that, that it was important enough for Thunder Bay, our area. And, and as a result, we had to separate our relationship. And the Prime Minister then was good enough to, to uh, after I sat as an independent, was good enough to ask me to join his party, and, and which I did. And, and uh, from that time, we've been able to come up with, I think, some good things for Thunder Bay. The, uh, one of the caucus meetings, and the genesis of this comes, when he mentioned, just as an aside, Jeepers, I wish somebody would give us, somebody in this room would put together a package on how we can help single industry towns in the forestry industry in Canada, which was a general statement. And uh, I listened intently to that. And I came back, and my good buddies that I work with all the time, Jack Hugo and Mark Wright in my office, and, and uh, the other folks I work with, uh, we said, we, we, I think the Prime Minister is offering us an opportunity here to, to 
do something that was good for Northwestern Ontario. So we put together what we call, uh, and I'm sure a lot of you have had it, a deck. So I'm just going to, rather than the notes that I have here to speak, and thank you, Mark, again for making it. We all had a chance to intervene and, and give our thoughts. And this isn't my deck. It's a deck that I think was prepared by all of the people who had input, Joe Tad, all the people in the room, about what we need in northwestern Ontario. So let me just read the first part of it. The following proposal contains initiatives. Well, this proposal, and this is very apropos of, of what we're doing here today. Well, this proposal contains specific initiatives that may not have the same applicability as in all the regions of the country, because the Prime Minister has got to make something that's applicable throughout the country. The principles and the template remain the same. The focus of this plan and its implementation is the retention of our most important asset, the family unit. What is facing us now is the destruction of the family unit due to the layoffs in the forestry sector. Therefore, we must remain focused on looking after the displaced forestry worker and their families. Any solution must also be multifaceted. For example, the solution for some will be to create transitional employment opportunities along with supporting the required training for those opportunities for others. For others, it may need to provide assistance through bridging income and benefits for older workers who are not able yet to collect the benefits in the pension, but who need some bridging in order to get to where they want to be in their retirement, and so on. That was the opening statement that prompted <coughs> our approach to what the, uh, what's it, we call this program, where's Mark? The Community Development Trust. What's, what's the Prime Minister call it? Community Development Trust. National Community Development Trust. Trust. Thank you. And that's what that's what he announced in New Brunswick last Thursday. Now he's taken a little bit of heat over this because it is so broad in its scope. But now I want to take this program with its broad aspects and bring it down into what it means for Northwestern Ontario. Because he has now announced and, uh, and I talked to the Prime Minister ten minutes ago. He knows I'm coming here. He knows, uh, he knows what we're doing here today. The, uh, the uh, program calls for uh, ten million dollars to be given to every province, but that's just a start. Then it's a, a, a per capita allowance, and he said today that the program for Ontario would amount to somewhere around three hundred and fifty to $400 million just exclusively for Ontario. But it's also important that the province become involved, not as a contributor, but they're going to be involved in the specifics of this program. And its purpose is to become regional or specific in its application. And that's really the critical words, because it's for single industry towns and it's to help the unemployed workers. <clears throat> now, when you look at the province of Ontario, there's only two areas that are really having a difficult time and not experiencing the growth that the rest of the country is experiencing. And that's northwestern Ontario and Windsor, Tilbury, and southwest or southwestern Ontario. So we have a problem. We have a challenge in front of us to be front and center and first in the disposition of that for 350 to 400 million dollars. And we got, you know, and, and I, after this meeting, I'll be meeting with Michael Gravel because he's going to be a key link in this uh, acting on behalf of the province, and I hope the Premier will give him the responsibility for this. But he may also give it to Dwight Duncan, who's the Minister of Finance, and he's from Windsor, or, or uh, Sandra Pupitello, who's the Minister of Economic Development, who is also from Windsor. So we better get on our toes and get moving. <laughs> We can't be waiting around for for, uh, for things to develop on our behalf. We've got to be proactive in what we're doing. So in this in this deck, let me just point out some of the things that are sp specific to North.